Pierre Curie was a French physicist, a pioneer in crystallography, magnetism, piezoelectricity and radioactivity. In 1903 he received the Nobel Prize in Physics with his wife, Marie Scarlett Tosca Curie, and Henri Becquerel, in recognition of the extraordinary services they have rendered by their joint researches on the radiation phenomena discovered by Professor Henri Becquerel. Early life, born in Paris, Pierre was the son of Eugenie Curie and Sophie Claire Depoli Curie. He was educated by his father, and in his early teens showed a strong aptitude for mathematics and geometry. When he was 16, he earned his math degree. By the age of 18 he had completed the equivalent of a higher degree, but did not proceed immediately to a doctorate due to lack of money. Instead he worked as a laboratory instructor. In 1880, Pierre and his older brother Jacques demonstrated that an electric potential was generated when crystals were compressed, that is piezoelectricity. To aid their work, they invented the piezoelectric quartz electrometer. Shortly afterwards, in 1881, they demonstrated the reverse effect, that crystals could be made to deform when subject to an electric field. Almost all digital electronic circuits now rely on this in the form of crystal oscillators. Pierre Curie met Maria Scala Tosca when a friend introduced him to her. What attracted Pierre to Marie was her devotion to science. He proposed to her but she refused, even though she loved him too. She finally agreed to marry him on July 26, 1895. Research, prior to his famous doctoral studies on magnetism, he designed and perfected an extremely sensitive torsion balance for measuring magnetic coefficients. Variations on this equipment were commonly used by future workers in that area. Pierre Curie studied ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism for his doctoral thesis, and discovered the effect of temperature on paramagnetism which is now known as Curie's law. The material constant in Curie's law is known as the Curie constant. He also discovered that ferromagnetic substances exhibited a critical temperature transition, above which the substances lost their ferromagnetic behavior. This is now known as the Curie point. Pierre formulated what is now known as the Curie dissymmetry principle, a physical effect cannot have a dissymmetry absent from its efficient cause. For example, a random mixture of sand in zero gravity has no dissymmetry. Introduce a gravitational field, and there is a dissymmetry because of the direction of the field. Then the sand grains can a euro self sort a euro unregistered trademark with a density increasing with depth. But this new arrangement, with the directional arrangement of sand grains, actually reflects the dissymmetry of the gravitational field that causes the separation. Pierre worked with his wife Marie Scala Tosca Curie in isolating polonium and radium. They were the first to use the term radioactivity and were pioneers in its study. Their work, including Marie's celebrated doctoral work, made use of a sensitive piezoelectric electrometer constructed by Pierre and his brother Jacques. Pierre and one of his students made the first discovery of nuclear energy, by identifying the continuous emission of heat from radium particles. He also investigated the radiation emissions of radioactive substances, and through the use of magnetic fields was able to show that some of the emissions were positively charged, some were negative and some were neutral. These correspond to alpha, beta and gamma radiation. The Curie is a unit of radioactivity originally named in honor of Curie by the Radiology Congress in 1910, after his death. Subsequently, there has been some controversy over whether the naming was in honor of Pierre, Marie, or both. In the late years of the 19th century, Pierre Curie was investigating the mysteries of ordinary magnetism and simultaneously became aware of the spiritualistic experiments of other European scientists, such as Charles Richer and Camille Flammarion. Pierre Curie initially thought that systematic investigations into the paranormal would help him with some unanswered questions about magnetism. He wrote to his fianca copyrightee Marie, I must admit that those spiritual phenomena intensely interest me. I think in them are questions that deal with physics. Pierre Curie's notebooks from this period show he read many books on spiritualism. About some czar copyright answers with Eusapia Palladino, Pierre Curie wrote to physicist Georges Gummy in a letter dated July 24, 1905. 
we had at the Psychology Society of Fusa copyright answers with the medium Eusapia Palladino. It was very interesting, and truly those phenomena that we have witnessed seem to us to not be some magical tricks a euro a table lifted four feet above the floor, movements of objects, feelings of hands that pinched you or caressed you, apparitions of light. All this in a room arranged by us, with a small number of spectators all well known and without the presence of a possible accomplice. Cheating would only be possible if the medium had extraordinary abilities as a magician. But how to explain the different phenomena when we are holding her hands and legs, and the lighting of the room is sufficient to see everything going on? Pierre did not go to Tsar copyright answers as a mere spectator, and his goal certainly was not to communicate with some spirits. He saw the Tsar copyright answers as scientific experiments, tried to monitor different parameters, took detailed notes of every observation. Personal life Pierre and Marie Scarra Tosca Curie's daughter Irene Joliot Curie and their son in law Fra Copyright Dow Copyright Rick Joliot Curie were also physicists involved in the study of radioactivity. They were awarded a Nobel Prize for their work as well. The Curie's other daughter, Ave, wrote a noted biography of her mother. Their granddaughter Ha Copyright Lani Langevin Joliot is a professor of nuclear physics at the University of Paris, and their grandson Pierre Joliot, who was named after Pierre Curie, is a noted biochemist. Pierre Curie died in a street accident in Paris on April 19, 1906. Crossing the busy Rue Dauphine in the rain at the Quai de Conti, he slipped and fell under a heavy horse-drawn cart. He died instantly when one of the wheels ran over his head, fracturing his skull. In April 1995 Pierre and Marie were enshrined in the crypt of the Panther Copyright on in Paris. Awards, Nobel Prize in Physics, Davy Medal, Matucci Medal, Elliot Cresson Medal awarded posthumously during Marie Scarra Tosca Curie's award ceremony, see also, Eusapia Palladino, References. External links, NobelPrize.org History of Pierre and Marie, Pierre Curie's Nobel Prize, Official Nobel Biography, Biography American Institute of Physics, Annotated Bibliography for Pierre Curie from the Also's Digital Library for Nuclear Issues, Curie's Publication in French Academy of Sciences Papers, Some Places and Memories Related to Pierre Curie, Pierre Curie at Find a Grave.